guys, so today I'm filming a haul. I thought I would start off with all the products that I picked up from Priceline. I did pick these up in their 40% off makeup sale that they had for two days. It was quite a while ago, um, but I'm only just getting around to filming this haul because up until now they have been packed, unfortunately. So I am wearing some of these products on my, on my face today, so I thought I would show you what I picked up. Um, and then if you'd like to see any first impressions on any of these, or reviews, or tried and tested Tuesdays, any of that kind of stuff, I am going to be going back to doing the normal videos that I was doing before. So anyway, let's get started. The first thing I picked up was this Model Prefer Essential Brow Kit. This is in light to medium. Um, it says it has shaping wax, filling powder, slanted brush, and compact tweezers. So it just comes in this little box and then it's this nice little compact. Um, inside it has tweezers and a brush down here and it has your wax here and your powder. I did get it in light just because my eyebrow hair actually isn't super dark so I didn't want to get the medium or dark version and then have it look funny with my hair colour. I also picked up the Face of Australia High Definition Brow Kit because I didn't have any other brow kits except my Essence one. So I thought I would try out some others. This once again has um, a brush, tweezers, two powders and a wax. And this is what I used. Um, I used the wax in my eyebrows today. So it has tweezers and a brush down here. It has a lighter powder, a darker powder and a wax. And I believe this only comes in one shade. I don't think they do um, more than one shade, which is why it has the two different coloured powders. I picked up two of the Astralis Velour Lips. These are the matte lip creams. I was really excited to pick these up and try them out. I've been wanting to try them out for quite a while, and I just hadn't picked them up yet. So I finally picked them up. I picked up the Nude one. This is in the colour Paris. And it's just a really pretty kind of browny pinkish nude it is matte so there's a swatch of it there um, like I said it is matte they have doe foot applicators on the end so I'm really excited to give that one a go and, and see what it looks like on the lips with maybe a little bit more of a dramatic eye look and I also picked up this one which is what I'm wearing today and this is in Rio D it's just a really bright kind of corally orange color um, this one I'm not as happy with it took me quite a few coats to get it to look like this and it's still not completely opaque and I'm still not completely happy with it but I really love the colour so I'm going to have to work with it and see what is the best way to apply this whether quite a few thin coats or kind of one thick coat. I then picked up the Models Prefer Perfect Canvas Mattifying Primer. Um, this is just supposed to give you a matte base um, which I thought was good. It's kind of like a gel um, primer. It feels rather moisturizing, um, but it does have that kind of silicone-y um, feel to it, and it is quite slippery, so um, then your foundation would slide on nicely afterwards. It says, instantly creates a smooth base, minimizing fine lines and pores, natural clay and marine extracts, rebalance excess sebum to maintain a shine-free appearance. It's supposed to extend and enhance foundation wear. So I'm looking forward to giving that one a go. It's not what I wore today, but I'm looking forward to trying it out. Then I picked up the Maybelline Volume Express Falsies. Um, I've heard a lot about this. This is the Black Drama version. I've heard a lot about the Falsies and believe it or not, I have not tried it yet. So I'm looking forward to trying this one. I haven't opened it yet because I do have quite a few mascaras on the go. So once I use those up, then I will open this one and definitely try it. I cannot wait um, to see if it does anything for my lashes. And I picked up the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Waterproof Coal Kajal, and this is in the colour Nude, um, just for my inner waterlines to help to um, counteract the redness and make me a little more awake. I didn't have a nude pencil, the lightest I have was kind of a taupey colour. Um, I've tried the Rimmel Scandal Eyes pencils before and I really like them and they have an awesome review here on YouTube. And so far I'm really liking this. I put it in my waterline today to make me look more awake because I did have such a dark um, colour on my eyelids with the eyeliner kind of thing. So I'm definitely looking forward to giving that a go some more. 
The last three things I picked up are all foundations. I went a bit foundation crazy, but when it was 40% off, I couldn't not because these foundations, well at least two of them, are rather expensive. The first one I got is the cheapest and it is the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation. Now I had the original Stay Matte before they reformulated it and I hated it because it was way too orange for me, it just looked horrible, I just could not stand it. So I picked up this one, this is in the colour 03 True Ivory. Um, it is a colour that I bought to wear when I'm faked tanned because now that I have actually unpacked my stuff, I will hopefully be fake tanned a bit more often. Um, so it's a really thick consistency and as you can see there it is a little bit dark for me but be a little bit light but then again maybe not so we'll have to give it a go and see. Um, so I picked up that one and I'm excited to try it, I think I'm going to do a first impression on it. The next two foundations are both by L'Oreal. The first one I picked up is the L'Oreal Nude Magique Eau de Teint um, foundation. This is supposed to be really comparable to the um, Giorgio Armani foundation, I think, or the Marc Jacobs, or no, I think it's Giorgio, Oma, uh, Giorgio Armani foundation. I can't remember what it's called, but. Um, anyway, it's a really, really liquidy foundation. You have to shake it up before you use it. Once again, I got the colour... I don't know. Ah, 140 Pure Beige. It is, once again, a colour for fake tanning. I'm not going to swatch this one just because it is so liquidy. I don't want to, like, pour it everywhere because knowing my clumsy self, I will and I don't need that. Um, but it just says, a feather light foundation feels as light and fresh as water, instantly fuses with the skin, blending seamlessly to leave a silky second skin effect. It's supposed to look natural and shine free. So I'm really excited to try that. I have quite a bit of redness and stuff on my face, so I'm excited to see if it covers it without needing um, a more full coverage foundation or without needing concealer. This is only... Uh, 24 mils, so it is less than your standard foundation. For example, the Stay Matte is 30 mils, and the next one I'm going to show you is also 30 mils, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Um, so it is smaller than your standard foundation, but you don't need very much of it. And last but not least, I've been wanting to try this foundation for ages. Um, it's the L'Oreal Lumi Magique True Match Foundation. Um, it is supposed to be a dewy skin, light reflecting foundation, all that kind of stuff. I'm sure you guys have heard about it before. Um, I'm really excited to try it out because although I do have oily skin, I do like a dewy finish and not a complete matte finish. This is in the colour Gold Linen. Um, and once again, once again for when I'm fake tan, I hope it's the right. So that is the colour there. It is quite dark as you can see. However, I'm hoping it will work um, for when I am nice and dark with my fake tan. And so I'm excited to try that out. Um, and they are the products I picked up from Priceline. Also, while I've been on my YouTube hiatus. While I was on my YouTube hiatus, I also went to Hong Kong. And while I was there, I did some beauty shopping. So I picked up these EOS lip balms. I did pick up three of these. I also have the Summer Fruits one in my handbag. Um, I picked these up because obviously you can't get them in Australia and I was really excited to try them out. So I did pick up three of those. Really pretty wispy lashes. I do have a pair of them on today and they're really nice. They're not too um, heavy on your eyes and they have a really invisible band which is something that I really like and part of the reason I picked them. The last thing I picked up is this BB cream. This is the Can Make Perfect Serum BB Cream in Light. Um, it says it's a base slash foundation, has a UV shield, natural coverage and contains 21 beauty ingredients. I'm really excited to try this out. I did get the shade 02, so it is light but it's not the lightest shade they have because that had a really blue-grey almost undertone, whereas this has a much more yellow undertone. So I'm excited to try this out and I will definitely let you guys know what I think in a review or something because I have tried it before so I can't really do a first impression. They are my products. I hope you guys like this video. I have been really enjoying coming back to making YouTube videos, so if you have any requests, 
request leave them in the comments below if you've made any recent youtube videos leave me a link in the comments below and i will see you guys in my next video bye